Hey, let's make a very fast guide on making a zero investment farmer, a trapper hunter in this case. This is mostly meant for people for their second or third characters, but if this is your uh, first character, then it's going to be even easier because you should have some gacha items that will help you along the way. Anyway, so as soon as you hit level 10 and you become an archer, put your one skill point into arrow shower, eat some warm dishes and few hundred of rookie uh, one star food that you have prepared with your main. Um, then just head to one of the two places. Uh, your first option is Frontera Labyrinth, uh, which is the easiest place to get to it. It's from the North Frontera field. And there you will kill Mandragoras. Uh, these are slightly slower than the option number two, but they do drop a, a Mandragora card, which is worth uh, upwards of two million. Um, your second option is to go to Peon Cave F1 and kill Hydras. Uh, this will be considerably faster than Mandragoras, but the loot is, uh, well, shit. Uh, whichever spot you choose, or you can mix and match, doesn't matter, you will stay at that spot until you're at job level 40. You don't even need any gear. Uh, on one of my characters, on my third character, I leveled at Hydras from level 10 to level 40 using the starter bow that you get when you turn into an archer, so it's not gear dependent. It will, however, help you a lot if you use... Um, Six, uh, six fantasy fish soups that you have prepared with your main uh, that will give you I believe 160 or 180 attack and that will be more than enough to get you started on that um, for stats get your decks up to 30 and from there on until you turn into a sniper you will put everything into it so 30 decks or around 30 decks and everything else into intelligence. Uh, once you are job level 40 and you turn into a hunter, uh, craft yourself a crossbow in Frontera uh, because it has three decks and get five job levels somehow. Uh, I use the potion, uh, job potion from my main and uh, as soon as you have five job levels, you put them into Claymore Trap the rest of your points, in this order, need to go into Blitzbeat, Falcon Assault, Beastmaster, and finally Improved Concentration as your uh, last skill. Uh, I will tell you later why that is. Um, so as soon as you get your uh, Claymore Trap to level 5, go to uh, Goblin Forest and target Goblin Axe mobs. Uh, initially, you will probably need to use a Dex food and Ent food combination. But if you have a Slave Priest, then uh, you can use Blessing from the Slave Priest to get you to the damage that you need. You need to one-shot these uh, goblins, otherwise it's not going to work. Uh, also, as you gain levels, base levels, uh, the Claymore Trap damage will increase with, with, uh, with your base level as on top of it increasing as you add more into your stats. Uh, after you achieve level um, 55, the goblins are not going to be profitable or efficient anymore. At this point, you will go to uh, North Pantera and farm Dustiness and Meddlers. Uh, make sure to have a Mysa uh, Cat Mercenary as well as your auto attack. Uh, you will use Falcon, Falcon Assault. This is why we um, uh, spent our points into Blitzbeat and Falcon Assault and Beastmaster. Uh, with Falcon Assault, you should be uh, able to one-shot meddlers with the help of your cat and your auto attack. So when I say one-shot, I really mean use one Falcon Assault, then finish it off with your auto attack and the cat. And for Dustiness, you should be able to Use two Falcon Assaults and finish her off with um, Cat and your auto attack. Um, if you cannot one-shot Meddlers, you cannot kill it with one Falcon Assault, then th uh, only target Dustiness and kill them. You should be able to two-shot Dustiness regardless. 
if you have followed my instruction and put everything into end. Um, uh, and just check your damage as soon as you can um, uh, one shot uh, uh, metallers then uh, target everything uh, do note that um, conver converters do not work with uh, fucking assault it's a forced uh, neutral damage uh, you will stay here till level well till job level 40 at which point you will turn into a sniper and once you are a sniper, max out your landmine and trap research and go back to uh, Payan KF1 and kill Agiras. Uh, you need to one shot them, no auto attacks, no pet. If you have to use uh, stat food, then that's fine for a while. Eventually, you will not have to use any consumables and you will just kill them straight up. You will stay at Agiras till level 81, at which point you will... Well, first, it's going to take you quite a while to get to level 81 at Agiras. But after that, you will have to invest into the character if you want to continue to farm with it. And that is a topic for another time. Well, thanks for watching, and until then, see you.